Hey girl, so here we are, my favorite topic. Food. <laughs> I know I said that last clinic, didn't I? And um, food really is my favorite. It is, I eat a lot of it, I love it. I love the fact that it makes us feel good. Um, it, and it's just, it, I love food. But the hard part for people is to learn how to meal prep. I'm not saying you have to meal prep, but I promise you, it is so much easier once you learn to do it. So I'm gonna be honest. Ready for an honest story? When I was losing weight, I never meal prepped. When I had lost my weight and hit my goal weight, which was 135, I didn't meal prep. As I became a personal trainer and being a professional in this career, I didn't meal prep. And about, I would say probably four years ago, I had a group of girls that I was training and they were really into meal prepping, but they worked, you know, long hours. They were always out and about. So they didn't have a choice. It was either that or they were stopping to get McDonald's and they weren't picking the good things off the menu. And I started learning more about it and learning because I was always, and, and I know that you're this way. You're, if you're scared of it, that's normal. Because I was like, I don't want to spend all day cooking. I don't like to cook. I like food, but I don't like to cook. And I thought, all right, I'm going to learn better ways that will work for me. And the more I learned about it and the more that I did it, the better it was for me all the way around. So, you know, it's, it's so much easier than we make it out to be. So you'll, I mean, and there's videos all over YouTube and you can Google it and on Facebook on how to meal prep. I'm going to give you the easiest, easiest thing to do. So if you're like me and you can eat the same things day after day after day, then, then stick to it. That's not bad. It's fine. If you need something easy to grab in the morning because you work, you know, work outside of the home, let's make that. So some of some ideas for breakfast. I'm going to give you a couple of ideas for breakfast. You could do two hard boiled eggs with a hand, a handful of fruit or an apple. You could, um, I'm not much for veggies in the morning. So I do a, a, a shake, a green shake for breakfast. So I get my greens in and it's healthy and it fills me up. I use chia seeds, which keep me really full for a while. Um, that's my go-to. I do that every single morning. I've done that for about 10 years, no, 15 years now. And it works for me. And I work out, work in the home. I'm always home, but it still works for me. I'm not a big eater for breakfast. So, you know, but if you are, then you could do your, you know, your, like I said, hard boiled eggs. One of the things that women really, really like, and I am allergic to, but they tell me it is amazing and it's on a lot of previous meal plans that I've had is overnight oats. So go ahead and get on Pinterest. Tell your husband I said it's okay to get on Pinterest. <laughs> and um, look at different recipes for that. Google it. Overnight oats, if you like oatmeal, oh my gosh, they say it's so easy and so good and it looks good. It looks really good and there's so many healthy ways to make it where it tastes amazing. So look at, look for that. Those are some awesome ideas. Um, if you are not a shake person, you don't like eggs and you don't like oatmeal, get you a protein breakfast bar. At least that's something. Just don't skip that breakfast. So, you know, when I say meal prep, I'm thinking on Sunday, I know what I'm going to have for the next week. So I do my shakes for breakfast. For lunches, of course, everyone knows I love salads. I'm a salad fanatic because I like to change it up and add different things. And it's not real heavy. I don't like heavy food during the day, especially when you're working out all day or, you know, you're, you're trying to stay awake because you're doing book work or whatever. You want to have a light lunch. So um, I do uh, mason jar salads. Those are really, really good because you can actually put them in mason jars, the quart size, get that, and you can put your uh, meat in first, your veggies, whatever you want in there, and then your, your lettuce, 
and then you seal it and you can put them in the fridge. They say they last for two weeks. I only make three days at a time because I'm weird about lettuce. But um, I have clients that do, you know, a week at a time. But you can grab that, take that with you to work, take it with you while you're out running errands, whatever, and you can eat it right out of the mason jar. It's super simple. If you're not a salad person, for lunch, you could always do, you know, tuna salad, chicken salad, pre-make that on Sunday. But something that's really um, easy to me, and I know you're going to think I'm crazy, is just to have yourself a sandwich. I'm not talking about having a, a triple decker, you know, with five different meats on it and all of that stuff on it with bacon and all of that. But if you're eating a sandwich with two pieces of bread, lunch meat, and cheese in there and some veggies, you're fine. You're still going to lose weight. And that is like cheap, simple, and easy to take with you. Heck, I've even put uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on my meal plans. Just remember, don't do white. Pick wheat or whole grain or gluten-free bread. But it's still, you're still going to do just fine. So, you know, that those are two really easy ones. Um, you could always do a, which I really like too, is I love veggies. And I want you to love veggies. So you could do some uh, fresh vegetables, any kind you like, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, um, in a bowl and put any kind of meat on top that you like and a little bit of your favorite dressing, mix it all up or some uh, salsa, mix it all up. So you could just take the, you know, go ahead and put it in a bag, a little baggie, take that with you and then mix it up on a plate or whatever you want to do, however it's the easiest for you. Um, those are some easier ways. But like I said, I and, and a, a lot of times I will cook chicken and a veggie and then I put them in containers and I freeze them. And I take one out, put it in the fridge. When I eat that one, I take the other one out of the freezer, put it in the fridge and so forth so that my food doesn't ruin. And then that way also if something changes in the day and I don't get to eat that meal, it doesn't go bad. So that is the perfect way. When it comes to dinner, I do not meal prep dinner because my husband and I are kind of like fly by the seat of our pants. We never really know what we're going to want until it comes time. So he does not eat like I do and that's okay. But um, a lot of times what I will do is I'll make tacos. We both love tacos. Everybody loves tacos. Um, we make tacos. We'll do a, a burger. I do a burger patty with all my veggies and a side of potato, uh, sweet potato fries or steamed vegetables. You know, uh, we like to use foil packets. So that's another great way to add that in there. But you do not have to meal prep your dinners. If you're a person that's on the go and it's hard for you, especially overwhelming and you've got a lot of people in your family to feed, focus on just meal prepping your breakfast and your lunch. And if you are a snacker, like I am, I eat a morning snack and an afternoon snack, I want you to get those little snack bags and you can do almonds or you can do baby carrots or you can do um, cheese chunks, whatever you want for a snack, two hard boiled eggs, whatever you want, and put them in those little snack bags in the right portion size. And that way you can just take that with you on the go. Or you can grab it out of the fridge and it's ready. Or, you know, keep it in your purse if it's, you know, not need to be in the refrigerator and you've got it ready. Being prepared is how you see results. So don't freak out on meal, meal prepping, but I want you to give it a try. So do this for me this Sunday. I'm not sure what day this is for you, but the next Sunday, I want you to meal prep for the first time or if you've been doing it, and I want you to take a picture, and I want you to text it to me. If you have any questions on this, please, please, please let me know, and I'll be talking to you soon. Hope you enjoyed the workout today. Have a great day.